on the Ashwin Willemser story. We're joined now in studio by his lawyer, Obizita Mlilo. Thanks for your time, sir. Appreciate it. Uh, so we've just gone through uh, what you've said to our team. Tell us how that meeting went firstly. Well, the meeting was uh, at the invitation of the CEO of Supersport, and he indicated that uh, that meeting would be in the spirit of reconciliation. Uh, regrettably, that meeting did not have that, 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 that uh, feeling of reconciliation. Uh, the meeting was almost meaningless and most certainly inconsequential, uh, so much so that uh, nothing that was discussed in that meeting uh, has, uh, has had an effect uh, on Ashwin to reconsider any of the positions that he has taken in respect of this matter. Do they offer him his job back? Well, as far as we know, there's a running contract, uh, and Ashwin has every intention of fulfilling his obligations under that contract. As to whether or not they will call him, I think the ball is in their court. So they said in that media briefing that they will try to get him back on air. Question is whether he'll consider that now, given that he has so much unhappiness about how it's been handled. Well, there are two separate issues. The first one is that uh, Ashwin has a running contract, and he has every intention of fulfilling his obligations under that contract. And uh, so to the extent that they might want to call him, he will certainly pitch up for, for duty. And that is not irreconcilable with him persisting with the issues that he has raised uh, uh, f from, for a very long time, which only became quite public on the day in question. So the two are not irreconcilable. A pursuit of a vindication of his rights and, uh, and, and also uh, his fulfillment of his obligations under that contract. But will he consider being on the same set with Nas Porter and Nick Mallet? Well, Ashwin has a contract, and uh, the contract says to him he must come to work. Who he is paired with is the responsibility of uh, Supersport, and of course would expect them to, to act in a manner that is consistent with finding a, a, a resolution to this matter, because we are now at a stage where we, consequent to the report that uh, Advocate Vincent Maleka uh, produced, we have now seen that there are emails dating back as 2016, uh, wherein there were issues that were uh, said to Supersport, uh, issues which basically relate to the issues that Ashwin has been complaining about. So our position at this point is that Ashwin wants access to all those emails that were sent to Supersport, which have the tone and nature as, done, as that which is reflected in Advocate Vincent Maleka's report. And he also wants uh, what the responses of Supersport was to those, uh, to those emails. Uh, so we, uh, we have instructions to uh, request, uh, in terms of the promotion of access to Info uh, Information Act, that they furnish us with the copies of those emails and what the responses of those were, would be. That has an effect on the nature of the relief that Ashwin would seek in the Equality Court. Now, this report, there are two versions of it, according to what I read earlier. One saying that both CEOs uh, said Ashwin Willemser made it clear that it was not racially motivated. Another part of the report apparently says that uh, he saw the events as racially motivated. So which is it? What does he feel about the incident? I think it, 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 we don't know where the confusion is coming from, and I suppose the, 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 the inconsistency in the report uh, vindicate the position we, we, we took that the report is not worth the paper it's written on. Because Ashwin has been consistent from the onset that um, uh, uh, the incident was racially motivated, and that's why that explains why he refused to sign off on the statement. Um, so the position from Ashwin's point of view has always been consistent that this issue is racially motivated, and, and as such, uh, there was a need for Supersport to take this issue uh, quite seriously. It appears to us that Supersport is really trivializing this matter. And this is not a new issue. This is an issue that has a long history. And if any, if, if any evidence is required, the emails that is reflected in uh, Advocate Vincent Maleka's uh, report is indicative of the nature of this thing. Now, Advocate Maleka says that he looked at the show before they actually went on air and he saw the interactions uh, between all of those people on that set and he didn't believe there was anything that even led to the build-up of what could have been seen as a racially motivated uh, incident on that set. So did he miss something when he looked at the video? With respect, the position we have taken from the onset, and this was communicated to Advocate Vincent Maleka, that he's completely misdirecting himself. And, and inevitably, the result that he's going to get is, 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 is one which is, which is based on a misdirection. You cannot look at that incident in isolation. The position is that there is a long history to this matter. And again, like I've indicated earlier on, the emails that he himself refers to are indicative of the, of the problems that have been there. Now, Advocate Vincent Maleka says he could not find evidence that these parties don't get along. And yet, in the same report, he produces an email in which the contents of that, 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 that email are clearly indicative of what the other person's view is of, of Ashwin. So 
Broadly speaking, I, I really think that uh, 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 the report of Advocate Vincent Maleka is really, is really wanting in, 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 a, in a number of respects. So what's your next move? What do you do now? We are going to request that Supersport finishes us with the emails which have the tone and nature of the one that is reflected in Advocate Vincent Maleka's report. And we want to know what the response to those emails was. And, and, and like I've indicated, the, uh, those emails will have an effect on the nature of the relief that we're going to seek in the Equality Court. And how do you plan on proving that uh, both Nasbota and Nick Mallet did have racially motivated intentions since 2016 against Ashwin Willem, sir? We'll cross that bridge when we come to it, and trust me, we'll do it.